when I was watching that great film, and probably the, it was Doc Weaver's film, because a lot of people know him, some don't, that Stan got into this gas house gang thing uh, with the Mudcat band uh, by playing the harmonica, and even in 46, he would play coat hangers like he was a drummer, and that was his way of relaxing. But in the batter's box, it would be concentration. He was an unbelievable hitter. You would never, ever forget the Stan Musial wiggle, which I think had a great deal to do with the success of Ladies' Day in those days. But anyway, let's crank up some more of that home video and take another four-minute slice of the St. Louis Cardinals history. Of course, I remember when I first saw Stan. Stan and I went to the same high school together, and I happened to go to one of the basketball games, and he was playing, he was on the basketball team. And at that particular time, my sister was going with uh, dating one of the basketball players, and when I came home, I said, who is that cute young man on that floor, you know? And that was, that was me. <laughs> He was a fan's man. He was a great ball player. He's a fine gentleman, and I think if he's the type of fellow that you'd like to see, uh, if you could have everybody just like Stan Musial, we'll have, we'd have one of those perfect worlds. He's just one of those boys that come along once in a lifetime. He deserves it. It can't be overdone. There isn't anybody with enough eloquence to pay tribute to that fella for what he deserves. in this country that can look with with great confidence into a study of this fellow's life. He's genuine. 